Hey everybody, what up? Uh, so I'm wondering how bad it, it is out there for uh, for most of y'all that are actually looking for work. I bring that up because um, I've had a few people that I've worked with for a long time at a previous company. I mean, I spent uh, over a decade there and a couple years ago they got a new CEO and um, I mean, the place is just gutted. Like uh, people that have been working there 15, 20, 30 years, like pretty much, uh, you know, they've laid off at least 25% and I left at the perfect time actually because I probably would have been a casualty of that as well um, They're a large insurance company and uh, Basically at one point had like 40,000 employees. I think they're probably down to like 26 or so now uh, just in a matter of a couple of years and It doesn't seem like uh, that is going to stop. So anyway, I, I left at the perfect time, but um you know, thankfully I haven't had to be out there on the market, but I've heard some pretty terrible stories. I mean, just even uh, reading on Hacker News or or Reddit of the amount of people, uh, or really the amount of applications that people are putting out there to try to get uh, a job. And then I know several people personally. So there's one guy was in like uh, tech sales and he's um, he's been out of work for about 18 months and has put in I think 800 or 900 applications. And granted, this guy's a little bit older though. I mean, he's actually almost 60. So I know that like, it's not gonna be good for anybody trying to be in tech when you're approaching 50 or beyond. Uh, you could possibly make the argument for younger than that too. Um, and anyway, so a couple people have reached out recently um, for this, uh, this company I used to work for. And, and just you know asking for recommendations or referrals on linkedin and you know i don't know that any of that stuff really helps um well maybe it does i mean unless you have like pr like sway in a company to get people hired uh even if i wanted to get people hired even if i knew that they did a good job and i've worked with them before and and all that um i personally speaking feel like i don't have the sway to you know shoo them into a company but that might be like really the only way at this point because every single job you know it seems like is going to have thousands of, of of applications and um you know there's there's a good possibility your your resume is not even looked at so mainly i'm just curious uh from the audience like what are your experiences lately i mean um i hope that it gets better soon i mean i maybe if they drop interest rates like they're talking about doing in September, we could start spurring some more development and, uh, you know, research and development specifically that, that really benefits startups. But right now, with the federal interest rate as high as it is, from what I understand, and I'm no expert, but uh, it, it's just it's too costly to basically borrow a bunch of money to fund development for something that may or may not make money. So as those interest rates go up, those opportunities go down because most companies can't afford to spend hundreds of millions of dollars trying to invest in something that in all likelihood is not gonna work out. It's not gonna make any profit. And then, you know, that, that also is like all the angel investors and such. And uh, it just seems like it's all dried up. You know, it's all dried up. And I don't know how much of that has to do with AI, but I do know that with the whole AI craze, generative AI and all that, developers are expected to do more and it's already been that way. So we have this tool now at our, at our disposal. It doesn't really take our job, but it does actually make things a lot easier, you know? So it would seem to me the expectation is that companies are gonna be able to tap into generative AI and they're probably going to expect somewhere around a 50% boost in productivity pretty much every engineer, which, you know, right there, and none of these numbers are exact, just my, just my observations and my guesses really. But if that is the case, then obviously you need 50% less developers to do the same amount of work. And I'm just hoping that'll change soon. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I don't really know how to to help people that even if, if they were close to me, I mean, I can make an employee referral or something like that because some of these people I can definitely vouch for, they're good programmers. But, 
you know, no, nobody's really hiring right now. And, and the competition is just fierce. I mean, people with Google and Fang companies on their resume are putting in five, 600 applications and not getting any, any responses. So I really do hope it, it changes. And, um, you know, right now it seems pretty bleak for the tech market just because as I get older, uh, you know, it's certainly a concern that like, well, damn, you know, I, I can't move away from a, a, a hub. It looks like I'm in the middle of nowhere, actually sort of am, but uh, I'm in the DC region. So, you know, one of the reasons why I stay here is because you have the federal government and there's tons of jobs. So I'm hoping that, you know, push comes to, to shove that I'll be able to land in one of these government contractors or something like that if I ever needed to. And I've had those opportunities in the past, but I've always just stayed in the, the private sector. Um, you know, that most of these government contracts, you have to go through all these like uh, the, the complicated background background searches and things. And it depends really even like the, the basic um, clearances and things require quite a bit of uh, background checks and all that, which I'm not concerned about. I've actually gone through that process in the past and ended up declining a job uh, for both the FBI and another one was for, I don't even want to mention, but a different government agency that... I decided not to go with. Uh, so, yeah, my biggest question is just like, how bad is it? When is it going to get better? My answer to that is it's not going to be anytime soon. We have an election coming up. I, I don't know what that's going to mean for anything really, but um, it just feels like it's going to take several more years to sort of climb out of this hole and see where we land with generative AI and what that's really going to do to the job market. And hopefully, again, um, you know, hopefully I start seeing the recruiters come back because I'm sure other people can relate, but I would get like four or five recruiters contacting me every single day on like LinkedIn or my email. And then now it's like once a week, maybe. Um, and yeah, so tough time, I guess, to be a developer, but it's tough for pretty much everybody too, because I also know that I have a, a friend of mine that's that's an attorney and uh, staff counsel, and they've been putting out resumes and not able to get any traction at, at all either. So I don't think it's just tech. I mean, we're we're in we're in for a pretty rough, I think, next few years, and uh, it'll get better, I'm sure, eventually. But definitely save your money if you have a job. Like you should be saving that money uh saving in your 401 because like i said that older guy that i know who's been in this industry now for um you know decades like 18 months out of work and he's just depleting all of his 401 so if you have a job be grateful for it and if you don't let me know what your experience is all right talk to you later bye